What's going on guys? How's everyone doing? In today's video, I'm going to show you guys a beginner's guide to installing must-have interactive wallpapers on iOS 26. Your iPhone can do some seriously awesome stuff. And like I said before, it even works on iOS 26, which is fantastic because it works on all of the newest iPhones as well. The incredible dynamic wallpapers you can get look even better with today's sponsor, ESR. I'll tell you more about them in a little bit. However, let's talk about minimum requirements. You'll need an iPhone or iOS device on at least iOS 17.0 or later. At some point in the future, this might work on older iOS versions, but for now you need to be on at least iOS 17.0. Sideloading the Pocket Poster app. This is an app that you'll need to sideload onto your device. If you already know how to sideload, feel free to skip ahead using the timestamps down below. For anyone that's on newer iOS versions, you'll want to install Alt Server to your computer as that's one of the more reliable ways to sideload on new devices. For older devices and older iOS versions, if you're in the small percentage of people that can use Troll Store, Troll Store is going to be your best bet when it comes to sideloading any app on your device. Apps sideloaded with Troll Store never expire. It works all the way up until 17.0. Anything newer, 17.0.1 and later, it will not work. So things like iOS 18, iOS 26, unfortunately, you're going to be out of luck when it comes to using Troll Store. If you're on a compatible firmware and you're not sure how to get Troll Store, I've made a few tutorial videos and I'll link them down below. So for anyone that's on newer iOS versions, you'll want to install Alt Server to your computer. On Mac, once that's done, go ahead and open it. You can plug your phone into your computer. Also in Finder or in iTunes, make sure show this iPhone when on Wi-Fi is checked. And if you're on Mac, that's it, you're good to go. If you're on Windows, it's pretty similar, but there's a few more steps. Make sure to download both iTunes and iCloud from the link down below in the description and make sure it is from this link and it's not from the Microsoft Store. So right now I'm installing iTunes. And once that's done, I'm going to click this link to download iCloud for Windows. Make sure your device is connected to your computer. You may see a pop-up saying you'll need to trust your iPhone to your computer. You can go ahead and do that. And then from there, the computer should recognize your device. If your computer doesn't recognize your device properly, it could be a number of different things. USB drivers may not be installed correctly, or it may just be a bad phone cable. Make sure the cable is properly plugged in or try a different cable. Sometimes it is the cable you're using, so just keep that in mind. Also, of course, make sure sync with this iPhone over Wi-Fi is checked in iTunes. And there we go. Once all of that is out of the way, you can go ahead and click get alt store and then just go ahead and download alt server for Windows. Now just go ahead and double click to open up the installer and then click through to install alt server. Once that's done, search for alt server and then go ahead and open it. Windows Defender might pop up here. Just go ahead and allow access and then you should be good to go. Go ahead and open it from your taskbar down at the bottom of the screen and you should see a little button that says install alt store. At this point, the process is the same on both Mac OS and Windows. Type in your Apple account, username, and password. And don't worry, this is safe to do. This uses an Apple account in order to properly authenticate it. So that's the reason why it's asking for a username and password. This authenticates it directly from Apple servers, so it's completely safe. If you'd like, you can also create a separate Apple account just for this process. So now Alt Server will start to install Alt Store onto our iPhone. We now see this message indicating Alt Store requires developer mode to run. Until developer mode has been enabled, this app will not work. So what we have to do is go into settings, privacy and security and scroll all the way down until you see developer mode. Turn that on and tap to restart your device. And now we're greeted with a splash screen that says ready to enable developer mode. Developer mode allows you to use features that are required for app development. So just swipe up to continue and tap enable and then it will restart and you should be ready to go. So now when we open Alt Store, it's going to ask us to allow Alt Store to find devices on local networks. You want to make sure that you tap on allow for that. That makes sure that the computer and the device are able to communicate with each other wirelessly. Now we're going to have to sign in with our Apple ID. 
Once that's done, go download Pocket Poster from the link down below in the description. And then once you do that, you should be able to open up an IPA directly with Alt Store. Now you can sideload any apps onto your device as long as you're connected through Alt Server from your computer. Apps sideloaded this way, unfortunately, will expire every seven days, so you'll need to repeat this process every time it expires. Opening the app, you can see it gives us a quick rundown on how to get started. There's an optional Siri shortcut you can install for troubleshooting, but what's more important is installing Nugget Desktop and linking your device to your computer. Linking Nugget Desktop to your device. Just like Alt Store, you can use Mac, Windows, and Linux to install it, and depending on what platform you use, the process might be a little bit different. If you're on Mac, download Nugget for Mac OS. If you have a newer Mac that's made after 2020, you'll likely have an M ARM-based Mac. If it's older than that, it's most likely Intel. Download it for your compatible Mac. Open the .dmg you downloaded, and once it's mounted, move Nugget over to the Applications folder. And on Mac OS, that's it. Windows has a few more steps. If you have a Windows computer, download Nugget for Windows. You'll either need the Apple Devices app or iTunes in order for Windows to recognize your device. We already installed iTunes for Windows earlier, so as long as it's that version and not the version from the Microsoft Store, we should be good to proceed. Anyway, here's how to set Nugget up. Go to where Nugget downloaded and extract it. You'll need to do this in order for it to work properly. Once the Nugget program file is extracted, we can double click to open it and it'll run as normal. So just go through this process. It shouldn't take more than a few minutes. All right, here we go. So go ahead and double click on it to open it. And if you get this pop up, click more info and then click run anyway. A terminal window will pop up and it should say starting Nugget. This is normal. Nugget should pop up after that. And then you can go ahead and plug in your device. Now under settings, click the pocket poster helper button. And now just open the pocket poster app and go under the settings page and then tap detect. And there you go. Now that that step's done, you won't have to touch Nugget Desktop on your computer anymore, and you can download wallpapers directly on your device. The incredible dynamic wallpapers you can get look even better with today's sponsor, ESR. ESR is the number one MagSafe accessory brand that offers high quality MagSafe cases, chargers, and much more. For example, I've been using their iPhone 16 Pro Halo Lock case. It has a nice convenient kickstand that flips out near the cameras. So if you wanna watch YouTube or Netflix or anything, that is a great way to do so. This case feels premium and sturdy without being too bulky. And that's thanks to ESR's military grade protection. The camera control button also works through the case as well. Pair the case with a MagSafe accessory, and it's got a super clean look. This wallet lets you hold a bunch of different cards, and it also flips out to be a stand too, which is awesome. ESR's Geo Wallet is also Find My compatible as well, and lifting up the stand, you can see there's a power button here, pressing it down, and you should just be able to find it anywhere. Before taking a look at ESR's products, I didn't have all that much of an interest in MagSafe, but MagSafe accessories are really cool. If you want to pick up a MagSafe case or an accessory for your iPhone, you can get 25% off your purchase with the discount code at checkout. Special thanks to ESR for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back into it. Installing a wallpaper. If you tap the explore tab, you can scroll through a bunch of different wallpapers. There's a huge variety of wallpapers available already. However, definitely keep checking back because developers put out new wallpapers all the time. Once you find a few that you like, go ahead and tap the download button. It'll download the corresponding tendies file. You can do this with a bunch of different wallpapers that interest you. So I'm gonna scroll through and pick another one and download it. And this is the nice thing about how easy this is. I'm gonna download one more. Going to the home tab, here's all of the tendies files that I selected and whenever I'm ready, I can go ahead and tap the apply button. And it says success. The poster board app will now open. Please close it from the app switcher. So now just swipe up and close out of the poster board app. Now scrolling through collections to add a new wallpaper and there you go. There's all of our wallpapers that we just added and it was that easy. These aren't ordinary wallpapers because they move and change dynamically depending on the situation. 
it. If any of what I'm showing you piques your interest, then go check some of these wallpapers out. They are awesome. I'm gonna make a top interactive wallpapers video at some point soon, so make sure to stay tuned. Some wallpapers have different effects, such as the planet one having a warped clock animation. To turn this on, press and hold on the wallpaper and then tap the customize button and make sure the depth effect is turned on. Again, as you'll continue to see in this video, these things were just not possible on regular iOS before, which makes it extra incredible. Video wallpapers. Make any video on your iPhone a wallpaper. In the Pocket Poster app, you'll see there's a video tab. This is what allows you to make any video on your iPhone a wallpaper, and that is awesome. Because you can pick any video from your camera roll, it could literally be anything. So something as simple as a few second video I took of my desk, to also something maybe a bit more complicated. Before you select a video though, just make sure the Disable Video Duration Limit toggle is enabled inside of the Pocket Poster settings. It's important to do that because the default duration limit is 12 seconds, so any videos longer than 12 seconds will fail if that's not toggled on. When you're ready, just tap Apply and it'll go ahead and generate all of the frames needed for the video wallpaper and it'll apply it and now it says success. The poster board app will now automatically open and just swipe up to close out of it again. And now again, if we try to add a new wallpaper and scroll all the way down the collections, now you'll see the video wallpapers you added will appear right here. Because you can pick any video on your iPhone to become your wallpaper, you can actually come up with some really cool ideas. Say you want to have a scene from your favorite movie be your wallpaper, you can do that. And of course, not only does this wallpaper work on the lock screen, it also works on the home screen. Reset collections to add or remove wallpapers. You can only have up to 15 wallpapers in your collection section at a time. So how do you add more wallpapers without getting rid of your existing ones? Just tap the Reset Collections button in the Pocket Poster app. This will reset the collection section back to default and will uninstall any of the wallpapers that you previously added in the collection section. Now going back to add a new wallpaper, scrolling down the collections, you can see it just resets itself and now you are back to how it looked by default. But doing this only resets the collection section, not the carousel of wallpapers that you've previously added. This means that if you want, you can use all of the wallpapers that you previously installed and you can install a whole brand new batch of new ones. If for some reason something gets messed up and you lose the default wallpapers that come with your iPhone, you can grab them over here. And you can even download ones that are for newer devices if you have an older device as well. The fact that you can do this on the latest iOS versions and the latest iPhone is nothing short of incredible. And this is the first thing in a long time that I've genuinely been excited to talk about. The developer updates this app pretty frequently, so keep checking back for more updates. With that being said, that's your beginner's guide to Pocket Poster, the easiest, best way to download these incredible, dynamic, interactive wallpapers. If you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to hit that like button. Also, go ahead and subscribe and turn on that post notification bell so that way you never miss out on a brand new upload. We're trying to get to 10,000 subscribers, so please help us out by clicking that subscribe button. Anyway guys, that's pretty much going to do it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good one guys. Peace.